Hey everyone, I'm super excited to share with you about my Teach Assign Assess products that are now available in my TPT store. Today I'm going to take you through one of these products so that you can get a good idea of what's included within it. The products start by giving information about each day and how to use the different information that's included with each day. Also included with each product is a planning for differentiated instruction sheet where you can go through and see how students did on their exit slip and think about who got it, who needs some reteaching with specific things from their reading response, and are you going to teach that in small group or one-on-one. -on -one. For day one of the three-day mini lesson series included with each product, it starts with an umbrella mini lesson. For this particular product, the Umbrella Mini Lesson is readers identify complex plots so that they can better understand how the events of a story fit together. Each mini lesson walks you through the gradual release of responsibility, so it will state what you should do for the modeling as you show students what to do. As students have a try in the have a go portion of the mini lesson, it will talk about how to release that responsibility over to them as you're still guiding it. And then finally, for that application phase, students are going to try it out on their own as they apply the reading strategy to their independent reading. The mini lesson concludes with a share. For day one, it includes a reading is thinking card that students are just reading their independent book. And as they're reading, they're following the directions on this card to think through what is a complex plot and answer the questions that are on this card. For the share at the end, there's a thinking debrief card, and these cards can be used in partners, they can be used as individual written reflections, in small groups, or even as a whole class. For day two of the mini lesson series, the umbrella mini lesson stays the same, and we now move into the graphic organizer. So once again, the entire mini lesson is scripted out for you. And I have included possible graphic organizers to use to have students thinking about this reading strategy further. So this is an example of one of the graphic organizers included with this particular mini lesson series. Here is another graphic organizer included and another. The graphic organizers I find very helpful in getting students you know, to start thinking about that mini lesson concept and finding that textual evidence to support their thinking. For day three, this is when we ask students to write a reading response in relation to that umbrella mini lesson that we've been thinking about over the last two days. And once again, I've included modeling. I've used the Tiger Rising as my text that I use with the modeling, but you can feel free to adjust it. Um, to use any shared text that you've been, had with your class, whether that be a class novel or an interactive read aloud that you've shared with your class. And once again, it walks you through the have a go, the application, and the share. For the exit slip that students will write their reading response on, I've included um, half sheet exit slips where you can cut those in half and save some paper. But for students that write, like to write a little bit more, I've also included full page exit slips that you can use. The product also includes a grading rubric that goes through the different grading criteria of how students actually apply that mini lesson and the content, the organization of their reading response, if they've used specific evidence from the text, the conventions they've used, and also their sentence fluency. So that's a nice quick assessment that you can use to grade that exit slip. Included with each uh, mini lesson sequence as well is an anchor chart that I have written up in, as an example of an anchor chart that you could use or modify in your own language arts classroom. Also included are the graphic organizers that I showed you earlier, but I've filled them out just to give you and your students an idea of what could this look like, fill organizers. Um, here's samples of, as you can see. And then also included is a sample response on the exit slip that can be used as a model to show students what a model response would look like. And also a sample of the rubric just to give you an idea of you know, what some comments would be that you could make. So this is the product and each of the 10 reading strategies are available 
on my TPT store and it's also available in a bundle. Make sure that if you have any questions you let me know, but this is a great way to get your students thinking during reading workshop, covering the Common Core State Standards, and just bringing them to that next level in their reading.